Wij gaan door naar chapter 4, waarin wij weer beginnen als John en Jack. Ja, die dus elkaars baan hebben overgenomen en allebei ontslagen zijn. Hoe gaat dit verder? Previously on last stop. The only way this is going to work is if we imitate each other exactly. How come you're hanging out with fat middle-aged blokes? Sounds like you both need to get your stories straight. I expect the team to pull together, to show some passion. I'll show you what you can do with your passion. Jack got fired. What the hell are we going to do now? Everything okay? Here's the thing. You got fired as well? Lekker. Een bijzondere dag. Hoe gaat dit verder? Dat is de vraag. A fool's errand. Why don't you just go to the doctor? Well, Molly's got a point, John. I mean, we can't be the first case of something like this. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure the National Health Service stretches to body swapping. You're not putting mustard on that, are you? You've got Jack's allergies now, Dad. Oh, yeah. Right. No banana, no, no, no celery, no mustard. Molly, do your own work. Sorry, mate. Which one comes after Anne Boleyn? Very few. Jane Seymour. Catherine Hepburn. It can't hurt to go to the GP about this. The GP. Jane Seymour, yes. The Daddy. general practitioner. Maybe there's other people we could see as well. You know, people who specialize in the mind. Like a brain surgeon. Yeah, or a psychologist or something. Like that shop near the tube station. No, I'm talking about professional therapists. Hmm. Not some loony who's going to tell me my future by counting my nostril hairs. Hang on, though. Molly might be onto something there. Yeah, I might be onto something. Desperate times demand desperate measures. We shouldn't be closed off to any potential situation. Hmm. Fine. Add it to the list. It says... Was beheaded for fornication. What's fornication? You know how we talked about sex, don't you, Molly? No. <laughs> well, I, I need to see a man about a dog, I think. Hmm. No, we're going to have a neighbor's call. With any luck, we'll be back in our own bodies by dinner time. Bye, Dad. See you later, Jack. So, I've got a list. Uh, we've got an appointment with your GP, Dr. Ajibola, and then we're seeing that therapist I found online. Aren't you forgetting something? Yeah. Yeah, we are going to have our auras read, too. We're going to have our auras read. Kijk of dat wat opleven. There is one good thing that you got going for you. Am I going to want to hear this? I love the way you say bastard. Got a nice Tom Brown. Bastard. <laughs> Great. Go on, let, let's see you say it for comparison. Are we really doing this? Okay, fine. Bastard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a bit thin. Sorry. No, the doctor. John, good to see you. And who is this we have? Ah, Felix. Oh, hello, Doctor. This is my cousin, Jack. Pleased to meet you, Jack. So, how can I help you both? How's your heart, John? My heart? There's nothing wrong with my heart, is there? No, no, no. It's, it's not that. It's a bit of a delicate matter. There isn't much you could say which could shock me at this point. I wouldn't be too sure about that. It's something that's affected us both. How do I put this? Um... We've not really been feeling ourselves. And the symptoms started at roughly the same time? You could say that. You'll have to give me a bit more to work with. Hmm. Well, what do you know about living outside of your own body? You mean like a feeling of disassociation? Not being in control? They are literally... Yes, exactly. Okay, the truth is... The truth is... I'm him. And he's me. Mm. Our body's got switched somehow. I'm John. And I'm Jack. Fellas, you realize April Fool's Day was months ago. So there's nothing you can do. John, come back in two months as we agreed for your regular checkup. Jack, it was 
Nice to meet you. No, well, never the same next time. I'm gonna have to find a new GP. Okay, burn that bridge. What's next on the list? Ah, a psychologist. Should be interesting. No, in the dad. Op naar de psycholoog. What did the doctor mean when he brought up that thing about your heart? Have you been ill? Well, I had a mild heart attack a few months back. I mean, it sounds worse than it is. I just spent a couple of days in hospital and you know, I just have to watch my cholesterol. Pretty normal, really. It's, it's nothing that serious. Jesus, John, that's about as serious as it gets. I'll be all right. Well, you'll be all right. Right, well, look, no more junk food from now on. I'll cook tonight. Misschien hadden we de trap moeten nemen en niet de auto ingaan. I mean, you know, I don't want to brag, but I'm like a culinary wizard. I can't take all the credit. It's the French jeans. Hmm. You're part French. Well, let's see, I'm half English, quarter Scottish, a third Irish, and an eighth French. So, so. Okay. Ik zie ons niet meer. Maar dat gaat automatisch. Hello. You're both related, is that right? Yeah, we're cousins. Okay. Well, nice to meet you both. Before we get started, I'd like to go through no, the kijk of deze vrouw ons wel kan helpen. Okay. Sure. So my family therapy package starts at 250 pounds per hour. Hup, naar buiten. <laughs> 250 pond per uur, wat denk zij? You know where we're going next, don't you? Creepy. All right, lads. Can I help with anything? Actually, yeah. Go on. All right, listen. Uh, <laughs> sorry, what's your name? Ron. Right, listen, Ron. We have got a little bit of an odd one here, but by the looks of this place, maybe it's right up your street. I'm listening. Okay, so the long and the short of it, well, <laughs> we've swapped bodies. Me and him. My next door neighbor. Hmm. It's true. Well, technically, he lives across the road. Ever heard of anything like this before? Body swapping. Okay, he thinks we're mental. That's perfect! What? What? I've read so much about this. You've seen this before? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Recommend. Wow, okay. Come on, come to my office. Let's see if we can sort this out. Well, all right. Here, sit yourself down, lads. I'll be with you in a moment. Gaat het gebeuren? So you've had other people coming here with this same problem before? Uh huh. Must be more common than we thought. Oh yeah, the world's definitely not what you think, lads. Let me tell you. So, what happens next then? How's this all work? Right. You must have heard about the secret alien portals that are buried under London. Uh, no. Look, is there some sort of medicine we can take or... Oh, mate, you should look it up. Seriously. We have the portals seen, the green portal. Under London, in the metro uh, line. Yeah. Ron? Hi. We were just wondering what we do next. Do we just sit here? One second, lads. I'm almost ready. Okay. Oh, for God's sake. Alright, and welcome back to another episode of Behind the Curtain, brought to you by Harvey's Razors, the closest killer shaver man can get. Now, before we get into today's topic, remember to share this video with your friends and smash that like button. I don't upload a YouTube. Okay. So today we have two special guests who are here to talk about their tragic tale of how they swapped brains. Jack, John, why don't you introduce yourselves? Okay, they're gone. Well, that's everyone we have. You turn to me, guys. We're gonna have to think really hard what our next approach is, Jack. I'm kind of running out of ideas. I've got one. Hmm. All right, go on. Pub. Good day. Oh, I don't 
totally bought into that last guy. I thought that was it, you know? I'm such a mob. Gotta admit, you had me for a moment. Seems like we have to up our game next time, Jack. Yeah. Next time? No, I can't actually remember the last time I went to the pub. Piss off. Don't believe you. You're like the kind of guy who was born in a pub. But you grew up playing the fruit machines, blindfolded, whilst eating pork scratchings, downing warm ale. Hmm. Yeah, well, let me guess. You grew up in, uh, in cocktail bars, didn't you? Probably scoffing sushi. You could do all that stuff when you're younger. When you're a single dad like me, it gets a little bit more difficult. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. That makes sense. <laughs> hey. Should we look out stage bait skin? Sure. I mean, not that this is any of my business or anything. But... Where's Molly's mum? You never mentioned her. I'll have to get a few more beers down me before we go into all of that. <laughs> okay. Hey, look. I've got a piano here. You play? Mate, do I play? Oh, now gaat het gebeuren, jongens. Okay, I'll continue playing this. You just join in when you want. What would I do? I don't know. Just making it up as I go along. I see vakjes. Come on, top line, man. Just, just make something up. Yeah, well, I hope we're not pissing everyone off in here. No, no, that's why it's here. Come on. Come on, you've got an audience now. Just, just ah, play oh, that something. Can I. That can I. Fine, okay. I'm a little bit rusty. But I'm going to go. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Keep it going. Oh, this goes good. This goes good. D. L. J. L. J. D. A. Wat al moeilijk. So far, so good. Allemaal op de piano dit, hè? Allemaal op de piano. Lekker man. That was awesome. Lekker man. Achievement unlocked. Right? Maestro. Hoppa. Absolute legend. Maestro. Hier hebben we nog post. Looks like this one's for you. Cheers. Oh crap. Come over to my place a moment, yeah? Hij heeft een geheim. Everything okay? Yeah, yeah, sure. We should just uh, just check and see if any of your posters got delivered by mistake. There is a problem. Jack? What's this? A bank statement? I'm cleaned out. What? Who done? How am I going to pay for this place without any cash? Without a job? Maybe it's not so bad. Maybe there's something we can do. How much is rent on this place anyway? Two thousand a month. I could crowdsource it. Three thousand per month. Jesus. Yeesh. This one bed place. Well, I guess there's only one thing for it. How long are these boxes gonna be here? Until I can afford to put them in storage. That's all right, isn't it? Can I look for your stuff? No. Hmm. The long and short of it is that one of us needs to get a job. 
These bills aren't going to sort themselves out. Yeah, no offence, but I'm never going to get another games job if I have to use your CV. 25 years working in the same office. Who'd hire me? Why don't you get your old job back, Dad? Yeah. Shazzy was saying they haven't found anyone to cover your casework. Hmm. Apply for my old job as Jack. I'll let you write the cover letter. Give it a bit of panache. You're going to have to sort your look out, Dad. No one's going to hire you if you dress like that. Money's right. Got to get you spruced up and all dapper. 90% of acing an interview is all about wearing a sharp suit. Hmm. Shit. Ja, lecker. Lekker hoor. Daar hebben wij weer iets gehaald. Een leveltje uitgespeeld waarin wij dus hebben gezien dat niemand ons kan helpen met onze conditie. En dat betekent ook dat wij verder gaan met chapter 4 van Mina. Wat gaat er gebeuren bij Mina? We gaan het zien in het volgende deel. Ik zie jullie graag dan. Joejoe.